I never saw championship potential in Jamal Hill. Never saw it. That's crazy to me, dude. What an inspiration to a lot of people coming up in America. Like, you can try. I never saw his potential. Like, I saw a bit of potential for him to be a contender in a division, but not five rounds of Glover stuffing all the takedowns, getting back up and just beating him up. Like, that's crazy. Who's your? Who do you favor, Jamal versus Yuri? I have no idea. No idea, dude. Um, Jamal Hill right now, just because Yuri might not be the same coming back. So he's definitely going to be a bit rusty. Hard to be rusty against Hill. Hill dominates Yuri if their fight goes past round two. Yuri drops his hands and Hill straights are going to be there always. Yuri's defense needs to improve. I can see Yuri getting caught with like a check hook on the way in, to be honest. I could also see him just beating Hill to a punch and beating him that way, but we'll see. His defense needs to improve, yeah, but Hill's Hill might be in a panicky mode of fighting if he if Yuri just sprints at him. You know what I mean? <laughs> just swinging, like trying to get a hold of him, like it might not work out that well. How possible is it that Pereira moves up and fights Hill next? How does that fight go? I think Pereira would beat Hill. Hill was getting clipped a lot on the chin by Glover with the counter hooks. But Hill's a strong dude. What if Hill offensively grapples and does it better than Adesanya? You never know. So that's always a part of it, you know? Thank you for the $20. But I would probably pick Pereira to beat Hill just because he keeps range pretty well and he could leg kick pretty well as well. And Jamal Hill, again, has a problem with leg kicks. I don't know why no one really goes for it. You know what I'm saying?